What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, our current subscribers, and welcome, 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 everybody else. If you just uh, happen to click on the channel, you enjoy the content, uh, content, my Gabby Mouth, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Just saying. Um, this is Leo's reading for week three of um, November of 2021. This can resonate if you have Leo in any aspects of your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, and Haven, or Jupiter. Uh, don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Okay. So the channel I received was um, someone's huge gossip saying that a particular Leo was homosexual and um, um, sleeping with the whole community is about to backfire on them in a huge way because huge secrets are about to be exposed about them. For some of these people, it is another Leo. So you plug it in, how that resonates, if that resonates for you. So a Leo gossiping on a Leo in some of these situations. Um, for some, I feel it's other signs, because I heard for some, it's Leo. And for some of these people, it's other signs. So um, a lot of people gossiping about you, Leo. I'm just saying, if that resonates for you, but you plug it in how it resonates so if that resonates for you a lot of people gossiping this slander in your name basically um just seriously but they they're calling you homosexual now you know if you're homosexual you're homosexual but whoever this is you're not you're not homosexual um and for some of you guys it is another leo gossiping about you um and that's just the truth for real for real for some of his other signs but they say you're homosexual and that you basically sleep with the whole damn community um it's like taking one for the team energy technically um or I, uh, it ain't taking one it's more like <laughs> taking a ton for the team but whoever this is for you're not like that you're not like that freaking at all if this resonates um but i heard it's about to backfire on them in a huge way because they are actually the ones like that so um they're talking negatively and down about you but in reality they are the ones like that and it's about to energetically backfire on them about to backfire in a huge way people are about to start really realizing the truth okay i heard about to backfire in a huge way people are about to really start realizing the real truth so yeah so you plug in how it resonates and a particular masculine Leo's homosexual relationship with the Scorpio is about to become very, very, very public. Okay, and I heard a particular masculine Leo's, uh, a masculine Leo's homosexual relationship with a Scorpio is about to um, become very, very public soon. So we have a masculine Leo in a homosexual relationship with a masculine Scorpio. Um, so they could have Leo, it could be you, homosexual Leo, or somebody else. You, um, you masculine, homosexual Leo in a relationship with a masculine Scorpio, or somebody else, how that resonates. Those two people, the um, masculine Leo and the masculine Scorpio, could have Leo or Scorpio, and they're sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, Moon, Heaven, or Jupiter, if that res resonates. Um, but they've been um gossiping on you leo they've been gossiping 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 saying that you basically are if this resonates for you saying you're homosexual you're taking it for the team and the community and the world and just being kind of like passed around like a sex object and a sex piece but in reality it's really them um um that's that's being passed around like the sex piece um and it's about to be um made known very soon I think some of these people, you guys, are in cults, gangs, black magic covens, things like that. And I'm just being for real, for real. That's what it's kind of sounding like. But you plug it in how it resonates. I think um, these people are dealing with like incubus and succubus energies. Um, and I'm just being serious. So I would keep intuition at peak for sure, for sure. Because you don't want to get around no incubus or succubus energies because those are dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. Level. They suck you dry. They suck your energy just damn dry is what they do. So uh, be very, very, very mindful and careful. And uh, I would stay away from those people. Absolutely. 
But you're pulling in heavy homosexual masculine Leo energy in here, I'll tell you that. And heavy homosexual masculine Scorpio energy. So um, you plug it in, however that resonates. If it's not you, it could be somebody you're connected to. Spirit messages, you have some Scorpio. I mean, oh, not Scorpio, Leo. Leo, yeah, you're pulling in heavy Scorpionic energy. I didn't hear Scorpio, but I said Scorpio. So you plug it in, how it resonates. A karmic brother to a Leo is about to start getting very ill soon. Very ill. HIV. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Heard a karmic brother to a Leo is about to start getting um, very ill soon. HIV. So we're pulling in heavy karmic brother energy in your reading, Leo. You, uh, if this resonates for you, it's a karmic brother to you. So all they do is just block your success, your money, your career, your happiness. Um, yazzy, yazzy, yazzy. Just, you know, those are karmics. Uh, but it's a karmic brother to you, Leo, if this resonates for you. Uh, for some, it's another Leo. Okay, for some, it's another Leo. So for some of you guys, it is actually another Leo. For some, it's another sign. But they're karmic energy to you. So they don't want you to do well in life. They just block, block, block the hell out of you. Um, but you're about to learn they have HIV soon. I mean, I'm sorry. No, I didn't hear you about to learn. Or they're about to learn they have HIV soon. They're about to learn they have HIV soon. So, wow. So it sounds like negative karma has come around in the universe for them through the form of HIV because they have been nothing but blocking you is what it kind of sounds like, but you plug it in how it resonates. Wow. Aaliyah's karmic mother is about to be very, very, very publicly mortified. Evil, evil mother. Okay, I heard a um, Leo's karmic mother. You have a lot of karmic people in your reading here, Leo. My goodness. A lot of people want to see your downfall. I'll tell you that. A lot of freaking people do. Some of you, it's a brother, karmic brother. For some, it's a karmic mother. For some, it could be the karmic brother and mother. You plug it in how it re resonates, but heard your karmic mother is about to be very, very, very publicly mortified. Um, and my... Um, they're about to be very publicly mortified. Dear Jesus Almighty. Um, what was it? You have to go back and check the whole thing that I heard. But basically, they're about to be very publicly mortified. Um, oh, evil's evil, um, evil karmic mother. So they have tried to plot some kind of nasty shiznit on you. Um, and it sounds like it's either was successful for some and for some unsuccessful, but Something's about to publicly mortify them. I think it's because they were unsuccessful um, doing something nasty and evil to you for some. That's exactly what I think. For some, they could have been successful, but something else is publicly mortifying them. For some, it could be this karmic brother. Maybe that's their sibling, to, um, their child too, the karmic brother, and it's, that's about to publicly mortify them, possibly, for some. Um, but they're about to be very, very, very publicly mortified, I'll tell you that. Some is regarding a lawsuit. Okay, I heard some is regarding a lawsuit. So these karmic mothers, they're um, going to be very publicly mortified because of some kind of lawsuit energy coming up. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. But this karmic mother energy sounds like um, Cinderella. It sounds like the Cinderella story, like the evil stepmother. Um, that's exactly um, the energy I'm feeling here. Uh, that's exactly what I'm feeling. Like the Cinderella story, evil stepmother. Or like Snow White in the Queen uh, energy. Um, mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? 
and she knows the karmic mother knows exactly who's fairest of them all and she ain't it and it pisses her off that's exactly what i feel um, what i'm feeling but you plug it in how it resonates five of wands reverse three of wands upright an air sign is getting a huge 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 wake-up call Okay, I heard air signs getting a huge wake up call. So Gemini Libra Aquarius, you can have Gemini Libra Aquarius and your Sun Moon Rising Venus with them in Hamer Jupiter. Um, but that is that's the energy I'm feeling. Um, Gemini Libra Aquarius um, is like I feel more like Snow White as type energy um, because I heard karmic for the for the gay brother and the um, mother. And I'm serious because we're pulling a lot of karmic energy in, in your reading, Leo um karmic mother and a karmic gay brother i feel the energy of like snow white uh the story of snow white for anybody that know disney snow white energy like the evil freaking queen energy and they like they go up into their mirror in their home mirror mirror on the wall who's the fairest of them all and they keep realizing it's snow white but they're not freaking snow white and it pisses them off because they're not Snow White. And that's just the truth for overall. Five, five of Wands reverse, three of Wands upright. Blockages have been lifted for a particular Leo. There is about to be a flood, flood, flood of communication soon. Some, lo lots of interviews and employment offers. Some getting important matters straightened out and resolved. Okay, so you plug in and how it resonates. Um, block, blockages have been lifted for a particular Leo. High vibrational Leo. Their name has been gossiped and slandered about very heavily, but the truth is really coming out now. Okay, so who this is for? It's a high vibrational Leo. Um, I heard your name has been gossiped and slandered. So basically gossip and slandered for strategic specific reasons. Um, but I heard basically the truth, real truth coming out, whether they people want it to or not, whether you're evil karmic Cinderella-like mother or evil homosexual brother want it to or not, basically um if that resonates for you um uh, and um it's coming out it's coming out whether they want it to or not and um blockages are about to be lifted for some of you guys i heard it's in the employment sector you're about to start getting lots of phone calls for interviews and offers of employment and for some it's um regarding other serious matters i feel for some of you guys it could be legal for some it could be um regarding children for some it could be regarding something else that's very very important that um, needs to be handled and resolved one particular pisces is going to be very 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 upset about this but people don't care anymore this is a very spoiled selfish pisces and they know it okay i heard one particular pisces is going to be very 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 pissed leo but i heard uh, basically people don't care anymore they don't care anymore they once cared but i heard she's very very spoiled and selfish and they know this um so you plug it in however that resonates if that resonates for you five of ones reversed um that's the for a lot i feel you were game stalked bullied harassed berated in the past past energy but now it's lifted this is blockage being lifted no conflict anymore i feel for a lot of you guys there was once three of wands upright is the action um, energy coming in for you soon with the call for interviews and the offers for employment and other very important things to be resolved for some of you guys regarding a Pisces, some regarding a karmic mother possibly, some regarding a karmic brother. Um, and this is the lifting of the blockages as well, coupled with the five of wands reversed combo energy of lifting the blockages. Here are messages you have sent Leo.
a particular masculine Leo is about to end up in jail soon. Karmic masculine Leo. In a way he would have never expected. Okay. I heard a particular karmic masculine Leo is about to end up in jail soon in a way he would have never expected. So if this resonates, um, you, I think you're connected to a karmic masculine Leo. Or for some, you could be a karmic masculine Leo if you watch. However, that resonates. Um, but I heard he's about to end up in jail soon in a way he would have never expected. So a lot of you guys, I feel you're connected to this karmic masculine Leo. For a lot of you guys, you're dealing with another Leo. Just strong, heavy, strong, strong, strong. But you are high vibrational and they are karmic and low vibrational. That's the energy I'm feeling in here. So you plug it in how it resonates. But um, it's a low vibrational karmic Leo. I heard they're about to end up in jail soon for a way they would have never expected. So you plug it in how it resonates. If that resonates for you. The sun upright, queen of cups reversed. A particular Leo is about to be very, very happy because somebody is about to really be very, very, very real and open and honest. Feminine Leo, finally. With them being open and honest with you, it's going to create many negative series of chain of events. And people are going to end up in jail for serious crimes they have committed in the past. It's going to make you and them and other people very happy when this occurs. Okay, so you plug it in how that resonates, if that resonates for you. Um, so if this resonates with you, you've got somebody coming in. You're high vibrational. You've got somebody coming in soon. It sounds like this going to be very open with you about the past. Um, now, in the past, maybe they couldn't have been open with you or they were, was it sure to be open with you or what have you, but they're about to be very, very open with you now about the past. But them being open with you about the past is going to be able to have you be able to have a dialogue with them about the past to where you can t speak on the past. And when you speak on the past, it's going to create um, something horrible happen to you. However, this resonates. Something horrible happen to you. I feel gang stalking, bullying. Um, gang stalking, bullying, secret seven, hidden camera situations, um, something like that. But however it resonates, um, it's when you speak on it, it's going to create negative series of shame events for the ones that did, um, harm you or bully or berate or stalk or harass you in the past. Um, and it's going to, I heard it's going to leave several of these people in jail and then very negative consequences coming for these people. Um. But, um, and I heard it's going to make the person that is seeking you out and speaking with you about this happy um, to where they can help. It's somebody that's going to be able to help put these people in jail. So I feel for some, it could be law enforcement or investigators or like Marshall or CIA or feds or um, energy. And I'm just being for real. For real. Um, and for some, it could be somebody else that has position of high authority and connections to do this but however it resonates it's going to make you um it's going to make them happy to be able to do this put them in jail and for, and it's some it's going to make you happy and i don't care if it's a family member or not if they did the time a crime they should do the crime and that's the way i look at it some people don't but that's the way i do because you have to protect your children and yourself and if people overstep their boundaries and um mess with your respect self-respect then they deserve it they absolutely deserve it so it's going to make the person seeking you out happy that they can help and put these people lock these people away i think the whoever this is is seeking you out they'll probably end up getting a promotion from it um probably for overall seriously they'll probably get a promotion or a bonus or what have you they'll probably get something out of it is what i'm saying but you'll get something out of it too because you'll get justice you know what i'm saying so happiness there and then, um, these are the people that were ungiving, unloving, unkind towards you. It could have been fem energies for some. For some, it could have been that karmic mother. 
For some, it could be a masculine taking off them energies. For some, it could be your homosexual brother we've been pulling in. For some, it could be that homosexual Scorpio. I mean, you plug it in however it resonates. And here's the other Leo energy, because you're pulling in double, double Leo energy for a lot of you guys. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. Time to clean house. Okay, I heard time to clean house is what I just heard. Time to clean house. Now, for some of you guys, I feel that can be literal. For some, I feel it can be metaphorical. Time to clean house. So, I, I absolutely, I think for some, it can be literal. Some, it can be metaphorical. So, physically, you're cleaning your house. I understand. I had to clean mine last week, and it's the best thing I ever did. Um, it really needed it. But maybe for some, you're physically cleaning your house soon possibly. And for some, I feel it to be metaphorical, like cleaning house, like getting these, um, putting your story out there. For some of you, for some of you, it's going to be a huge story. It's going to end up being on the news, some national news, some local. Okay. Wow. Her, for some of you guys, it's going to be a huge story. Um, some on the local news, some on the national news. So, wow, yeah, um, I think it's metaphorical as far as cleaning house, putting these assholes in jail, cleaning up the streets, cleaning up um, crime. Um, that's exactly what I think. For some, I heard it's going to be on the local news, so it's going to be a huge story. It's going to be all around your community. For some, um, national, like national, which is big. So, you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you. All right, you guys, I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices, my dear. And everybody, stay safe and share these videos if you think anyone could benefit. Love you guys. Namaste.